Probably most of you are some buzzing in the news about something called cosmic inflation. But what exactly is this? In the first half of the 20th century, we observed the expansion of the universe. And as a consequence, we were observing them more red than we should if the universe was stationary. But if we are expanding, then we can go back in time and observe a universe more and more compact until we reach a state where we have an infinite mass in an infinitely small point. We can trace how the universe evolved from 380,000 years after the very beginning until now. But before that, we don't know quite clearly yet what happened. Andrea Linde, Alan Guth, and Ponstein Art were vital to formulate the theory we call inflation. This solved many problems the scientists were having when studying the Big Bang theory, and that led to an expanding interest towards this beautiful theory. What cosmic inflation states is the observable universe expands much faster than the speed of light, the fastest thing we know of. It expanded from having 10 minus 15 meters to 1 meter in radius in just this few seconds here. At this rate, if the observable universe was the size of this Pokéball, then it would expand to a size far greater than the observable universe nowadays. That's an insane difference and that left traces up in the sky. In the very beginning of the universe there were quantum fluctuations everywhere and the quantum effects ruled in general. But when the inflation occurred, those fluctuations were amplified and resulted in a few inhomogeneities. Clumps of matter formed and that led to a universe as we now see it, with galaxies, with planets and with stars. Physicists predicted that this very quick expansion of the universe would cause a certain pattern when we looked at the cosmic background radiation. A telescope located in the South Pole called Bicep 2 saw this exact pattern up in the sky and that led to the confirmation of the existence of gravitational waves. Thanks to physics we now know we were very tiny fluctuations in a very tiny universe. Without those fluctuations we would never be here to amaze ourselves with the wonders the universe gave us. Ogre Quark, out.